Hey everybody, this is uh, take three for me. I just can't seem to get it right when I'm trying to share this with everyone, but I know we're getting close to the holiday season and this is going to be a rough time for some people, especially veterans like myself. Um, just wanted to give you a couple little tidbits of what I'm doing and, and what my backstory is. Um, been divorced for about 14 years now. My ex-wife and I have been friends for much of that, and uh, we have a 16-year-old daughter, and I've been with a really nice woman for about almost four years now. Uh, I'm, I'm not not now. Uh, I was with her for almost four years before the break, and then we decided to break up back in the summertime, and that was. It was a series of emotions and roller coaster ride with that and, and splitting out everything. But um, it was my home. We weren't married. She decided to get a house of her own. And <clears throat> long story short, I came home in October, expectedly, it wasn't a surprise, to a house with, with nothing. I mean, most of my stuff had gone before she moved in so that, to make room for her stuff which was in, in a lot of cases a little nicer, the impact is still the same. When you come home to an empty house and the person that you really cared about is no longer there anymore, and it, it really did care about her. Just, we just had differences we could not get beyond. Uh, she was a widow. The man who she had been with killed himself in a really horrific way and it did a lot of devastation to her and her kids. And so it's, it's a, it's a lonely time for me. It's been a couple of months and then days that are, are just extremely difficult. Um, a lot of my support base, a lot of my friends don't understand it. They, they did not live in the home. They picked sides. They went to her aid. Um, and it's fine, but it, it left me completely without a base. Um, so here am I, I've, I've spent countless amounts of days in the evenings um, alone. And it's, it's pretty difficult. So what I'm doing First off, to remedy the empty house, I, I got into this thing with estate sales where I go get really great furniture. I'm replenishing, uh, re refurnishing the house for pennies, uh, just making this place livable again. I, uh, I didn't even have a bed to sleep on at first. It was, I had a couch and I was sleeping on that and I didn't have a, a dining set. I didn't have anything. Um, and that's okay. I'm not, not trying to put a pity party on here. I'm just laying out what the situation was. And, um, and regardless of what the situation was or whose fault it was or whatever, it still sucks. It sucks on my end because I could hear an echo in my own house for the first month. And that's, that's a sad time. That's a really sad time. And, and somebody listening to this may be going through something similar, but you don't have to have tons of cash to, to refurnish your house on the cheap. There's marketplace Craigslist. People are giving away furniture all the time. I don't know. Just keep an eye out. These estate sales are a great place to get them. Cause I think I bought, um, I bought my table and a, a nice gently used sleep number bed for about $150 total. They're, they're both in great shape. Um, new rocking chair, new, uh, new other, uh, lots, lots of other items for the house that I paid almost nothing for just to get the place up back up and run it. Now that doesn't bring any people into it and the friends are gone. Many of the friends are gone. Um, including my daughter's mom who I've been divorced from for about 14 years and, and we had been good friends, but that was an error on my behalf because I thought we could all have harmony together and they, <clears throat> they have really paired up 
and the support really went to the ex-girlfriend over this. Um, they, none of these people, I haven't, I haven't bad mouthed the woman that I was with, but none of these people know what it was like to live in my home under the circumstances I was living. It, it was very difficult for everyone. These people, uh, no kids had a lot of damage and I hope they get that fixed in time. So estate sales, um, I'm working out like crazy. I'm going to the gym two hours a day, trying to keep my out of my head. Um, uh, sometimes I I'm still in my head after the gym. So I, I get on my mountain bike and I ride the trail and I'm uh, retired. That, that makes it even worse. So I'm thinking about going back to work just to, just to stay in the zone. Um, what else? I'm eating better, staying out of the drinks. Uh, I will go out a couple nights a week and just have one or two delicious beverages. But um, overall, I'm not getting drunk. I'm not uh, doing any of that stuff. And it makes a difference. There's the working out. There's the hobbies. I'm, I'm, I, like, I like reading certain topics, particularly um, biblical topics. So, so I'm reading that. Uh, reading, reading the Bible. I'm getting into some older Bibles. Um, this is not a devotional, uh, religious video I'm making here. Just something I enjoy. I also like to read about Antarctica, so I'm, I'm reading some about that. Well, I like finance. I'm reading about finance. I'm doing some audio books. I'm watching pod or, uh, YouTube podcasts. I'm, I'm just staying busy. And... Um, what else? Guitar. I've been playing guitar like crazy. Uh, I've had breakthroughs in the last couple months that um, I, I wasn't able to get through for years because I just didn't have the time or, or the focus. So I am uh, I'm really impressed with how far I've come on guitar. It's a big deal to me. I'm coming back from an injured hand and some of the cords I just couldn't bend with the metal, the screws and stuff in my hands. Um, but I'm getting there and, and I, I'm, I'm seeing improvements and, you know, every day still sucks a little bit. It sucks a lot, actually. It's a lot of sucky days. Um, but I'm engaging strangers. I'm talking to people that I probably wouldn't talk to otherwise. And yeah, I'm sitting here tonight and <clears throat> I actually was in a good spot for a little bit after going to the gym and having myself a nice steak dinner. I went to Texas Roadhouse, sat at the, the bar area so I could get right in and have a, have a meal. And uh, it's been a good night overall. So I decided I was going to kind of document this with a video. I'm going to get through this. You're going to get through this. It's a time of growth. It's a time to move up with your life. Nothing can last forever. Every storm will pass, but you have to be consistent. You have to keep engaging people, talk to strangers. Most of them are going to want nothing to do with you. Be nice. Um, one other thing I did do is I, uh, to alleviate the expectation that any of these, uh, phony friends of mine who have not been inviting me places, who have been inviting other, you know, inviting her and inviting, uh, it's, it's funny to me, they never hung out before, but the minute I'm gone, uh, the support base really opened up for her. That's okay. That's, that's on them. That's their side of the street for me to alleviate the expectation of them calling. I just went ahead and deleted them. Um, they're clearly not supportive of me. 
Um, I mean, this woman said that I was the greatest thing that ever happened to her. I, I have been a gentleman. I have done everything I could for her. I've given. I, I brought her kids in. And, um, I gave them a stepfather figure when their dad was gone, which was, uh, people advised me against that. And I, and I understand why some people would be in opposition to that idea because it, it can really blow up in your face if you're not careful. This has really uh, damaged many of my relationships and uh, it's time to move forward and, and get into something else. I can't sit here and beat myself up and, and be upset about the thing. Uh, it is what it is. It's done. So now moving into the holidays, this is where it's going to suck the most. So I've decided I'm going to download a lot of funny movies. I'm going to stock up on food. I'm going to eat right. And I'm just going to ignore what day of the week it is through these holidays. I don't need to be showered with attention or gifts or any of that stuff. And I may find other stuff to get into too. Maybe some volunteer work, something. But I can tell you what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to sit here and feel sorry for myself. Things are going to get better. On the other side of this, I'm going to be a better person. A little thought in the back of my head says everybody loves a guitarist. So at least I'll be a better guitar player, if nothing else. Um, I'm going to keep sharing this stuff. Because somebody needs to hear it. Some veterans are not going to make it through the holidays. And uh, hopefully this will help out. Because I'm getting through it. I get up every day and commit myself to the idea that things are going to get better. And... It's, it's very hard. It's very hard when things suck all around you. But then you look around and now I have a finished house again. And I have... I have people uh, out in public that say hi. And... Um, it will get them. If it's... If it's validation you want, you're just going to have to learn to say fuck them. The, the, the people that don't want to validate you and don't want to... There's, there's a couple things. It could be a false expectation for validation, which I, I get that too. But some people are just never going to validate you. They're just It's not built into them. So you're just going to have to say fuck them. And, and you're going to have to say, I'm going to make it through this holiday season in spite of them. And I'm going to come out on top in spite of them. I'm not going to let them win. And I'm not going to let them have any time in my head. I think that it sucks breaking up with anybody regardless of what it was about. And, you know, I did care about this woman. I had hoped it would work. It didn't. I'm not mad at her. She's just doing what she does. She's going around campaigning trying to keep the friends but I mean they, they were my friends that's a funny thing but um, you got to say to yourself at some point do I want a new life or do I want to keep living in that fucked up shit that I've been living in so I'm, I'm choosing I want a new life um, if this helps you any please comment respond say something if it doesn't, or you think it's horrible advice, um, that's fine too. But somebody needs to hear it, and not everybody needs to hear the same thing. For me, I like somebody to tell me to, uh, you know, pick up my pack, get in motion, and make shit happen. And uh, that's what I'm doing. Just I don't, I don't have my team, I don't have the support base, but I have... Uh, Hope. And 
some days, some days that hope can dwindle. If, if it's taken from me, then hopefully some of the other uh, things I've implemented will carry me through. But it's, uh, as far as the holidays go, the holidays do not exist to me this year. They, they just don't. It's just another fucking day. It's something somebody invented and stuck on a... Jesus wasn't born on Christmas. We all know that. Um, the third Thursday of November, whatever it is, fourth, I don't, I don't even know the rule, but whatever that is, it doesn't matter what, what day Thanksgiving is. <laughs> Sit and watch something funny. Download some raunchy comedy. Don't drink, or don't drink a lot at least. And uh, if you can find an event that they're putting on to feed people or, or, or go fellowship with someone or, or be around people, go do them. That's, that's my, my backup plan. If, if the funny movies don't do it for me, then I can always go find uh, some place to grab a bite. Times have changed. It's not like it was 30 years ago where everything was closed on these days. So, if you got any issues, hit me up in the comments. If you if you need if you need extra support, just just reach out. And hopefully, this turns out to be the best year of growth in your life and. You get to move forward and be something better. Because the better you, the better you that's coming, the people from before, they don't deserve that you. You deserve that you. And, and that successful future you is going to have better people. But you got to break the cycle. So I wish you the best. And, uh, We'll be talking to you soon.